Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. It's amazing to think how close we are to the end of Leviticus. To me it's been a very interesting book. It's been good to be reminded of the amount of rules that govern the lives of the early Jewish movement. It's Leviticus 22 today. Let's open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Leviticus chapter 22 He always spoke to Moses, saying, Tell Aaron and his sons to separate themselves from the holy things of the children of Israel, which they make holy to me, and that they not profane my holy name. I am Yahweh. Tell them, if anyone of all your offspring throughout your generations approaches the holy things, which the children of Israel make holy to Yahweh, having his uncleanness on them, that soul shall be cut off from before me. I am Yahweh. Whoever of the offspring of Aaron is a leper, or has an issue, he shall not eat of the holy things until he is clean. Whoever touches anything that is unclean by the dead, or a man whose offspring goes from him, whoever touches any creeping thing, whereby he may be made unclean, or of a man of whom he may take uncleanness, whatever uncleanness he has, that person that touches any such shall be unclean until the evening, and shall not eat of the holy things, unless he bathe his body in water. When the sun is down, he shall be clean, and afterward he shall eat of the holy things, because it is his bread. That which dies of itself, was torn by animals, he shall not eat, defiling himself by it, I am Yahweh. He shall therefore follow my requirements. He shall bear sin for it, and die therein. If they profane it, I am Yahweh, who keeps them apart. No stranger shall eat of the holy thing. A foreigner living with a priest or higher servant shall not eat of the holy thing. But if a priest buys a slave, purchased by his money, he shall eat of it. And such as are born in this house, they shall eat of his bread. If a priest's daughter is married to an outsider, she shall not eat of the eve offering of the holy things. But if a priest's daughter is a widow, or divorced, and has no child, and has returned to her father's house as in her youth, she may eat of her father's bread. But no stranger shall eat any of it. If a man eats something holy unwittingly, then he shall add the fifth part of its value to it, and shall give the holy thing to the priest. The priest shall not profane the holy things of the children of Israel, which they offer to Yahweh, and so cause them to bear the wickedness that brings guilt, when they eat the holy things, for I am Yahweh who keeps them apart. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron, and to his sons, and to all the children of Israel, and say to them, Whoever is of the house of Israel, or is a foreigner in Israel, who offers his offering, whether it is any of their vows, or any of their free will offerings, which they offer to Yahweh for a burnt offering, that you may be accepted, you shall offer a male without the fat, of the bulls, of the sheep, or of the goats. But whatever is a defect, that you shall not offer, for it shall not be acceptable for you. Whoever offers to sacrifice a peace offerings, to Yahweh to accomplish a vow, or for a free or will offering of the herd or of the flock, it shall be perfect to be accepted. It shall have no defect, blind, injured, maim, having a wart, festing, or having a running sore. He shall not offer these to Yahweh, nor make an offering by fire of them on the altar to Yahweh. Either a bull or a lamb that has any deformity or lacking in his parts, that he may offer for free will offering, but for a vow it shall not be accepted. You must not offer to Yahweh that which has its testicles bruised, crushed, broken or cut. You must not do this in your land. You must not offer the bread of your God from the hand of a foreigner, as any of these, because their corruption is on them. There is a defect in them. They shall not be accepted for you. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, When a bull, or a sheep, or a goat is born, they shall remain seven days with its mother, and from the eighth day and thenceforth it shall be accepted for the offering of an offering made by fire to Yahweh. Whether it is a cow or you, you shall not kill it, and it's young both in one day. When you sacrifice a sacrifice of thanksgiving to Yahweh, you shall sacrifice it so that you may be accepted. It shall be eaten on the same day. You shall leave none of it until the morning. I am Yahweh. Therefore you shall keep my commandments and do them. I am Yahweh. You shall not profane my holy name. 
but I will be made holy among the children of Israel. I am Yahweh who makes you holy, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am Yahweh. 